Jalen, how you doing? Great. How's it going? It looks like Jalen's might be playing a little bit more defense moving forward with how things have worked out with, with Jamie. Just what effect might that have on special teams? He's so terrific. Would you have to maybe limit his time on special teams some, or how might that go? Yeah, uh, I think uh, anytime a guy's playing offense or defense and special teams, you're trying to balance this guy's workload. I mean, that's just par for the course. So we'll play by ear, see how much those guys are playing. Um, you know, whether it's him or anybody else, same thing could be at the corner spot, all that. We'll just balance their workload the best that we can. Obviously, those guys make a big impact for us on special teams, but same thing being said for defense side of the ball. Is that the toughest part about your job with injuries? And you, you basically encompass the entire roster, and so you have to keep uh, you know, no, on top of it all. Is yeah. that the hard part of, of, about that sometimes? Yeah, it makes it exciting. I'll say it that way. Uh, it's a challenge. It's part of the deal. But I mean, that, that's really, I mean, yeah, it's always a big deal when it happens the first time. But it's its like that every season, everywhere I've been. I mean, that's just the National Football League. There's always moving parts, and you got to be able to handle that. How'd you feel about God in the second game returning picks? Gosh, well, uh, you know, obviously we hope that he caught the ball in the air there. Um, I was disappointed for him. I mean, he works so hard at it, and we've asked him to do that, and he's really given everything he's got at doing that. And I said that to the team the other day. There's not a guy who's more committed to this football team than him. You know, obviously he hates it. Uh, you know, I'm crushed for him that that happened. But at the end of the day, we got to do better than that. Um, he knows that. We know that. Um, we'll, we'll put together a plan in place. We're still excited about the group. You know, uh, I'm glad he had the good return on the play. It ended up being okay. Uh, didn't turn bad, but obviously it's not what we're trying to do. I knew that you were hearing a pretty good player in Jack Fox, obviously, but since the time you've been here, are you even impressed with you know, some of the things that he can do, especially with the strength of that leg? Like, how you just feel the field and be Yeah, he's obviously a really talented player, um, and we're obviously glad we have him. Um, I, I, th I think he's like everybody. I mean, there's still a lot of room for improvement in his game, um, and he can get better. He can help the guys around him, make them a little bit better. Um, so there's a lot, of, there's plenty of things he needs to work on. But obviously, we're thrilled with him. Dan mentioned Josh Reynolds being a guy maybe stepping in for you, especially when you know about him. Yeah, I've seen some film on him. Obviously, he played in Chica or Chicago the last couple of years. Um, you know, he's made some tackles on special teams, had some production. I mean, we got like Woods there. We got Beckett in the program. Um, so there's a handful of options. We got a couple of tight ends that are similar body types, Zilstra and Wright uh, on the practice squad. So whichever way we go, we'll be ready. Those guys have all worked hard. Um, and those guys obviously are here, have a little bit of an advantage because they've been in our system and they know what we've been doing. Right, more so than Zilstra. Zilstra has been here a little bit longer than Woods, but we'll get them all up to speed and get them ready to go, find out what our best combination is.